I'm Janice. And I'm Melinda. Welcome back to NFP Kitchen. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so today we're going to be showing you how to improve upon store-bought marinara because the store-bought marinara is just never the same as homemade, but at the same time, I don't really have the time to make from scratch marinara sauce. I'm not and Mario give it, Batali. No, and give it the time it deserves. However, with a few simple additions, the store-bought marinara will taste much, much better. It tastes more like a homemade marinara sauce. Yeah. Yeah, and, it isn't just too sick. Yes. <laughs> and once you start doing this, you'll really notice a difference. So if there are ingredients in this that you would like more of or less of, it doesn't really matter. Also, this is a Costco sized jar of marinara. If you have a regular sized jar, not gonna make that much of a difference to this recipe. Choose your own adventure. Exactly. And you can do that with cooking, not with baking. So for this, we start with our jar of marinara and we're gonna set that aside. The first thing we do is we are going to saute all of these lovely mushrooms that we cut up. They can be in larger or smaller chunks depending on your preference. We have somebody who likes smaller chunks. So we saute the mushrooms until they brown up really nicely. This is what the mushrooms look like all browned up. There's probably about eight ounces of mushrooms here. It was just a pack from Grocery Outlet, but you can add how many mushrooms you want. And now we're going to be adding half of an onion and one clove of garlic. This is what our onions and garlic and mushrooms look like. Okay, we're going to be adding our marinara sauce. Yeah. Like that. And since this is not an exact science, we're going to be adding our wine as well. This is vegan wine from Trader Joe's. Not all wine is vegan, we learned, but this is, and it is $2.99 a bottle, so I don't think you're going to beat the price anywhere. And again, not an exact science. I estimate uh, probably a quarter cup, between a quarter cup and a third of a cup. Just put fill this up. That's better. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. And we'll shake this around. Shake it. Mm -hmm. Get all of this. this oh yes to our stuff and I'm pretty much a teetotaler I just cook with wine I don't drink it but it is it really makes a difference in pasta sauce it adds a certain flavor that you're just not gonna get anywhere else and because the alcohol content cooks off I'm fine with it doesn't really bother me. And now, let's see. This is my mom's recipe. We have our oregano. And she says you need a palm full. That just looks like a tablespoon. Yes, quite a bit. And then you have to go like this. Yeah, you have to break it up and get the, um, the oils out. Oh, that's why? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, that's what, that's what I've been taught. I just thought it was fun. <laughs> you do that with thyme. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's to break it up and get the oils out. Got it. Mm -hmm. Kind of release more oils. It's so fun when I get to learn things on my cooking show. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Um, great. So then we've got that. And then the very last thing, Maybe. and it's just a little bit of sugar. And it helps cut the acidity in the marinara sauce. I'm going to turn this down a little bit and then we're going to let this simmer for between probably 10 and 20 minutes 
and then it's done. And this is how to improve your store-bought marinara sauce and make it taste like it's made from scratch.